So we're here to talk about finance and society. What's happened to the financial sector and the way that it runs itself is the way that we run really all of our society, which is we have clearly been very comfortable with the notion that we're going to make everybody everywhere compete, right, from kindergarten to business school to banks. And we are going to be completely comfortable with the notion that that system is destined and designed to produce a couple of big, big, big winners and a lot of losers. And all of the structures that we have built confirm and enhance and increase that fundamental mindset. And if we're going to get out of that, and if we're uncomfortable with what it's produced, we have to be willing to question all of the assumptions implicit in it. We have to start thinking about what is the financial sector that does maximum good for a very large number of people, not just a few people? Mm. What are the kinds of educational and industrial models that we want to create, and what are the management systems that we want to create? that are about elevating and enhancing a lot of talent from everyone, not just going through life picking out the superstars. Mm. This is a fundamental mindset shift. Because if we want to think about why we are left with such grotesque levels of inequality, we have to think back to a system which has always been, in my lifetime, about picking winners whether picking winning stocks, picking winning people, picking winning industries. And we have to start thinking about a far more broad-based idea of social success 